say to uh, his people about the end times? Well, in our eschatology, eschatology, yeah, eschatology is a study of the future events which are yeah. to occur in the prelude to the second return of Jesus. So what we say in regards to that is he will return. He will establish peace and justice on the earth. He will destroy the anti-God system that we are all spiraling towards. And he will... He will so he's the saviour? In the sense of one who comes to bring people... So is he coming again, Muhammad? He's coming, not Muhammad, he's coming. So, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, you believe Jesus is coming again? Yes, yeah. That's yes, brother. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but, brother, but, but what we're saying though... Let me explain to you. I'm from Birmingham, yeah. A lot of brothers used to say to me, Jesus wasn't the son of God. Yeah. They just believe... He's a, just a prophet. Which is what he says of himself in the Bible. Let me explain yeah, something to you. Yeah. You know the term son of God in the Bible, it literally means one who represents God. Yes. It doesn't carry a divine connotation. Yeah. But if you look at the term God the Son, yeah. look at the subtle distinguishing factor. God the Son versus Son of God. So God the Son yeah. is never used for Jesus in the Bible. It's his people and it's God's people. Who Precisely. Are of God. So, but yeah, so we're a bit reticent to use that term because of the fact of the, where it leads to, where people then make a, 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 a particular understanding of God having real uh, offspring. But as I said to you, in the Hebrewic term, yeah. a son of God literally meant just one who represents God. Okay. It doesn't carry any divine... So again, back to my question. Yeah. What are you saying about um, the, end, the end prophecies? In yeah, so we believe that Jesus will return. However, he will confirm that which people we should say about him, which will be he will correct. Like for example, in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, he says, anyone who calls me Lord, Lord, calls me in vain. But those who do the will, but those who do the will of my father. Yeah. So what he's saying is that when you when, when I return and the people will rush to me and say to him, Lord, Lord, we used to do many wonders and works in your name. And he was no, the ordinary Jews and all those who yeah. And they're like you see on the God channel on Sky, for example. Those are the people who will run. They will say to him, Lord, we used to do many wonders, works and signs in your name, like healing the lepers, cleaning the and he will say to those people, away from me, you who work iniquity. You claim from me that I did not claim. And what did they claim for him later? That he was God. Where he himself... So more back to the prophecies, yeah? Like yes. What's, what's the said? Like, are we in the end times, do you believe? We are, we, are, we are already in those minor stages. You know why you should check Islamic eschatology? Because it's very precise. Christian eschatology, with due respect, has failed. Reason being, it's been 2000... It's been filtered from the Vatican Church. But let me explain to you. You know, Paul, the Apostle Paul, he was expecting the return of Christ within the lifetime of the disciples from 1 Thessalonians chapter 12. But however, that did not materialize. Yep, that did not materialize. So what's happened? 2000 years have gone by. Christ still hasn't returned. Christians have lost their faith. But because of the failed prophecies, even your eminent scholars like C.S. Lewis, they say that these are failed prophecies and these are the most embarrassing verses in the Bible. What? That, that he has not returned because they were expecting that within the lifetime. However, our eschatology, the hadiths, the, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace, are very precise as to what will be the prelude before his coming. So an anti-God system will be in place. What God has revealed will be to the country. So for example, in this country today, men are finished. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by men are finished? It's gone, not just masculinity. In this country, men don't have authority anymore. Totally. spirit of Jezebelism. Yeah, it's the women who have taken over. Yeah. If you get married and you have kids, if you divorce your wife, she grabs, grabs everything. The kids and everything, you'll have to beg to see your children. The courts don't enforce it. This is mentioned in our hadiths that women will have the control at the end times. Yeah. This is mentioned My explicitly. Boy, the scripture, yeah. well, where can I find that in times? At the back end times the prophecy. Back. There, are, uh, there are certain uh, elucidations to it about when uh, Christ will come. And but also, other than the, the beast system, what yeah, the mark of the beast. So yeah. that will be the when um, you know. The chicks and yeah, that's also something. But I'm more of the opinion that there will be certain fa factors at work, like alliance between LGBTQ, feminism, and atheism. This will be an entity together who will propel an anti-God system, and this is what we're seeing now in schools today. If you go to a school today, children. Do you believe? Do you believe? Uh, the two witnesses. Religion at all, are they? Not just not being taught religion, they are being forced to learn about same sex education. Yeah, exactly. I've got a harrowing video on my phone in which young children are entering primary school and the teachers are all dressed up in LGBT gear, the rainbow, and they're all waving their flags, having these we banners. Having this discussion yesterday about the rainbow flag. It's a, it looks so innocent, a rainbow to a child. Precisely. But it's the, it's the, it's the new emblem of this movement, yeah, yeah. an anti God movement. So in the Quran and in the Bible, God has given authority to man. They're going to tell you upside down and give it to the woman. God has revealed that certain that 
the matrimony of marriage is between man and woman, not between Adam and Steve, but Adam and Eve. Okay, then you got. That's um, what I say. You yeah. like that as well? Cool. Yeah. And then you got also. Um, what else does it say? No. What, what else we, must we look for? Like, what else must be looked for? That's something I'll tell you off off off, uh, off camera. Yeah. I don't want it, that to be on camera, yeah, okay, uh, but it will shock you to your core. Um, but these are the three major signs, and they will be in power before Christ returns. And then he will establish, he will get rid of all this anti-godness and he will establish peace and justice. But he will also rule according to the Islamic Sharia. He will clarify who he was, a prophet of God, which is what he but says of himself. Yeah, so the Antichrist will come who will be, the setting is being done for him now. So everything. going to happen in Israel, you believe? So let me explain. Israel is the only country in the Middle East. Are you Muslim, bro? I've uh, almost converted a couple of times. I suffer with mental health and like, I, see. I always turn to God like, so what I would encourage you to become Muslim today, do you know why? Let me explain something to you gentlemen before you go. Listen carefully, you're Christian, yeah? Do you know in the New Testament, Jesus pointed to somebody other than himself as God. In John chapter 17 verse 3, listen carefully my friend, listen very carefully. Jesus says the following, For this is eternal life, that they may know you as the only true God, and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus Christ. Which is what Islam says about him. Islam says he was a prophet, and of more consequence to both of you, this is what he says of himself in the Bible. He says he was a prophet. Mark chapter 6 verse 4, Matthew chapter 21 verse 11. He doesn't go around the streets of Galilee and Bethlehem saying, Hey guys, I'm God. Never said that. He said, I am a prophet of God. He also said, I'm the Messiah. Yes, yeah, so we believe that as well. What does Messiah mean? Messiah means anointed one, one who comes to save mankind. Okay, but there are many messiahs and saviors in the Bible. And there has been with King David. I'm attracted to the flies, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's been, I don't know, it's been raining a bit. We've got, we've got the gutter system there, so yeah, that doesn't yeah. help. So let me just quickly um, uh, make a reference to why you should both become Muslim today. Let me tell you why. If Christ himself spoke of somebody else other than himself as God, and he explicitly mentions that he's a messenger of God in John 17:3 then that is testification, that's all he I've, was. I've known about this because the Vatican that preaches the Trinity and well, that's all... Uh, yeah, that was something which was introduced much Paganism later. And, yeah, into, that was a part of the um, evolving theme of yeah. the Greek or Roman world that Jesus did. If you've been delving into Islam, what's there left for you to be uncertain of? What is it that has not led you to take that step? What is this, like, oh, 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 like, Basically, when I've been sectioned, they'll med me up and basically get me to denounce it, kind of thing. Like. They've sectioned you up? Yeah. By who? Who has? Sectioning in a, in a in mental medication, hospital. Medication. That you should not accept Islam? Yeah, yeah. So that's just what just God in general, kind of thing. Yeah, like, what is it? Don't no, surprise me at all. Uh, yeah. But let me tell you something, those who mock God are a futile themselves. Who created the universe? Did it come by nothing? Did it create itself? Allah says that, um, did they create themselves or were they created? So makes a, there is a creator, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. What else do you say about the end times? Well? End times, yeah. So the, the, the end times are mainly in the extra Quranic material of the Hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace, which I will elaborate to off camera shortly. Okay, so these entities will be enforced, they will spread an ungodly system, and this ungodly system will become rampant. So what God has said, they are determined to do to the contrary. Authority of man, we're going to give it to the women. The sanctity of. Oh, the sanctity of um, the sanctity of that's a big bee, isn't it? It's whipping around your head. Be careful. So um, the sanctity of marriage, they're going to determine to put LGBTQ, um, um, atheism, much. It's really near your neck. Very, very, very. Perhaps doesn't want you to hear. Okay. So um, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Um, atheism becoming rampant. It's understood to be the status quo now, you know, that there is no God. And they're trying to make nonsensical arguments, whereas the philosophy of science points to God. That a universe from nothing makes no sense, that there always had to be something. In terms of your question, my friend, the Hadiths make mention of what will happen. Now I want to elaborate something else to you, which you guys will not be familiar with. Okay, and I'll tell you that off camera. Okay, off camera. So, do you want to accept Islam today? I, there's nothing stopping you, my friend. There's not a good reason you can give me now. And remember, they don't procrastinate. No, become Muslim. I mean, you, my friend, I would encourage you to do. I'll elaborate to you further. I intertwine it even with the Torah. I take my pieces, but I'm a child of God. I'm a child of Ahim. Let me explain to you. The Old Testament was revelation which God gave to Moses. Uh, not in its current form due to its much corruption, but it was revelation given to Moses. The New Testament was revelation given to Jesus, but not in the form it is today. Hence, you get the problems which are milked and corrupt. You know all that. Excellent. So, 
the Quran claims to be the only unadulterated, uncorrupted book on the face of the earth. When you read it, in itself you know it's coming from a creator. There are no third party narratives, it's directly from God. And that's the only book which makes that claim. Are you following me? Become Muslim, my brother. You do the five daily prayers. As you as a Christian, let me tell you something. Every, every, I'm, I'm, I'm always, when I'm alone, I'm in a prayer state. I'm truly, if you hear me, brother, you know as a man of faith, as a man of Allah, that you're in everything. Listen to me, yes, excellent. And do you know in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 4 to 6, the way we pray is exactly how the prophets used to pray. They bowed first and then kneel in prostration. Giving thanks to Jews, God. Jews, Jews still bow like that. Yes, they? but they've messed it up as well. Yeah, yeah. So what you know, the bowing is definitely you erect the back at a 90 degree yeah, angle, bow. and then kneel in prostrate. This is exactly okay. how we pray, as you're probably you're familiar with. Islam means submission to the will of God. You know, I recently spoke to a woman here. It's an American lady, about three minutes before. Maybe you saw me speaking to her about you. Were, um, and she has only got a few uh, months to live. I mean, it's a little time. She's got Hodgkin's disease. Very few, and she's now content. She's she's read the Bible, the Quran. The Quran makes much more coherent sense to us. When we finish speaking, you can watch it on the channel, our discussion on the channel today. Take, become Muslim today, my brother. You believe in one God. God sends messengers, of which are Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Jacob, Jacob Joshua, all prophets of God. The final message of Prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace, sent to all of mankind to worship God and God alone. Joshua is my middle name. Joshua is your middle born name. born on Christmas Day. Wow. This. My dad's called Gabriel. Wow. Quite a lot of biblical references there, aren't there? I studied carpentry, I lived in a boat. Wow. <laughs> Magnificent. We know all about the Jesus' miracles on the boat. So anyway, take the step. You want to do that? Okay, what we want to do, are you local to here? I live in Digcock. Where? Digcock. Oh, we come from East London today, especially to meet you pleasant people. So, listen, what's your name? Romy. Romy. Harry. Harry, my Mustafa. So, all you do, you testify there's only one God. The Prophet Muhammad is God's final messenger, coming from the previous prophets of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and so forth. And that he's the final messenger. Do you believe it, in the two witnesses, Elijah and like Moses, yeah, in the Revelation, chapter 11 of the Revelations, there will be two witnesses that will come before the Antichrist? Yes, yes, yes. You believe this, yeah? Yeah, because the Antichrist will come in many... Start moving and yeah, let's, 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 let's <laughs> right. take your testification now, okay? Yeah. Say the following after me, Brother Ashik. Ashik. The brother wants to do his shahada, inshallah. Yeah, so what I want you to do is following after me. And we want we need to stay in contact as well. He's, he's, got, a, he's got a channel called Dawah to Soul. Our conversation will be going on YouTube tonight. If you want it to go up, if you want your face covered, if you don't want to be seen, we can blur you out. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind this. You don't mind, you want to be seen. Allah bless you, my brother. So I want you to say the following after me. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is only one God. There is only one God. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That the Prophet Muhammad. That the Prophet Muhammad. Is God's final messenger. God's final messenger. From the messages which preceded him. From the messages which preceded him. And that with that, my brother, you're a Muslim. Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. God bless you, my brother. MashaAllah, Allah bless you. Now, having come through, I want my brother over there to listen to me off the camera as well. Very careful. I'm going to say some incredible things to you as well. Off the camera. So, now we're going to look after you a little bit as well. You understand what I mean? It's not just the Shahada. We're going to give you the numbers. If you need to contact us for anything, let's exchange numbers. Yeah, if you need anything, and I mean anything. Thank you. Welcome. Bless you. 2.1 billion people, one, one person raised their hand, also you part of this account. Welcome. My friend Harry, you got to take the step and I'm going to give you a little indicator off camera. Ahi, Ahi, come. Take this now, because I need to speak to him very quietly off camera.